Hello, online pipe community. Ethan Parsimonious Piper here. It is time to end the weekend, kick off the week with an episode of YouTube Piper's Care. Light up and let's look at this short list together. I have got a Gold Coast billiard, lovely little billiard, filled with some of uh, Boswell's uh, English biscuit. Let's dive in here. Flint Hills Briar shared an update with us as he is uh, preparing to do a, a stretch of the Appalachian Trail. His dad, who has been diagnosed uh, with uh, possibly with Parkinson's, seems to be walking and talking better. In other good news on his front, his wife is dealing better with the... Uh, not just the physical, but the emotional pain of her recent hysterectomy. Keep them in your prayers, though. Um, they, um, they can definitely, definitely use it. Mark Spade. Mark Spade tells us his chronic back pain is flaring up again. Tattooed Piper came down sick this week, he tells us. I, there are a lot of bugs going around. It's the beginning of school. Kids are bringing them home. Um, as we're cooling off, we're spending uh, more time, uh, especially with the, the rain and storms here in the southeast this last week, spending a lot more time together sharing our bugs, the generosity we have. Uncle Willie. Uncle Willie made his first video in quite a while, gave us a full update on his health. I will let him fill you in on those details. Go check his site out. Watch that video. Uh, long story short, he's still got a good road ahead of him. So he can definitely use our prayers, our support, um, drop him a line, give him a call, that sort of thing. He can definitely use it. Don't know that he will be back to making regular videos for quite some time. Jack Ryan Pipes. Uh, if you have been following along, Jack has been, over the last couple of years, has been carving increasingly wonderful pipes. His skills, uh, it's been wonderful to watch him grow. Let's see if we can get a light here. Speaking of lighting. Alas, Jack. Jack is starting a new career and will not be able to spend as much time carving. Uh, he is not giving it up entirely, but I, as his video details, uh, he is stepping back from it a bit. Uh, Jack, uh, hopefully, hopefully you don't just disappear. Uh, I have seen some of your work. It is, it's beautiful. You, um, you, you have come so far in such a short amount of time, your dedication and your artistic eye with, uh, your unique rustication. Um, you have contributed greatly to the smoking side of this hobby. Folks drop by and give him some encouragement in this new venture, the new direction that he is heading. And finally, Onion, 2 a.m. pipe on the patio, uh, texted me, said a family friend's aunt is missing in the flooding surrounding a plastics factory. I'm guessing that's where she works. If you haven't been following it on the news, the flooding in East Tennessee and Western North Carolina is absolutely devastating. There have been at least two major dams that have been completely breached. Uh, one is one is just gone. Uh, towns that have just been completely destroyed uh, along some of these mountain streams, and they have been buried in mud. And there's a, a Washed away and buried in mud, there's quite literally nothing left of some of these little tourist towns. A significant stretch of Interstate 40 
but uh, right, right just east of the uh, if I if I got the location correct, it's just east of the North Carolina line. A uh, stretch that I have traveled many, many times, although never in bad weather. Uh, a stretch of that interstate has just washed away. Uh, you can see there are, uh, in in spots, there are still a couple of lanes left, and the rest of it is just gone, and there is a raging river right up next to. And, and normally that river is... Uh, 50 feet down, it seems, um, below, uh, and not literally directly down, but uh, away from the uh, the highway. And it has, it, it's right there up on the interstate now. You can see it raging down below where it has eroded under. Uh, there, there are an awful lot of people right now who are hurting, um, missing. Uh, there have been, uh, there have been sadly a few deaths, not nearly as many as could have been. Uh, but uh, lots of tons of property damage. There are millions of people without power, many of whom are not going to get it uh, restored for another week. Uh, we're not talking about repairing the power grid in many parts here. We're talking about completely rebuilding it. And uh, this power grid has been built over the course of decades, and it won't be easy to restore power in a matter of days or weeks. So uh, these folks can definitely use your prayers. They can use your donations to a legitimate organizations such as uh, the Red Cross uh, or uh, Samaritan's Purse that spend uh, most of their money. The donation money that they receive actually goes to the people. Uh, if you happen to be a, uh, a Baptist and live anywhere near the South, your Baptist men's organizations uh, typically spend uh, very close to 100% of all money that you send in on their relief efforts themselves and their logistics are covered by uh, out of pocket. Um, so uh, there are lots of organizations like that, but uh, if you're going to send money to somebody, do make sure that you vet the organization. Uh, you don't want to just waste your funds, uh, but you can always, always keep these folks in your prayer, folks, if you are not the praying type. You should be. With that, might something you like. Might just be a soft, lightly, sweet, aromatic English. We'll see you next week.